Welcome back. So, um, as I said in the previous video, in this tutorial, we'll just focus specifically on two things. For loops, so how to use for loops in Visual 3D pipeline command, and how to export large set of data when you have a lot of participants. Okay, all right, so let's start. Again, like I mentioned, um, all the pipelines will be provided, but I want you to first start doing it on your own, and then um, and then try. You know, if you get stuck, then use the pipeline that I provide. So, and here again, so we're gonna um, try four loops and export the data. All right. So the first thing you need to do is use this specific command. So set pipeline parameter to folder path. The reason why you choose this is because we don't want to always call uh, the whole path, but we want to call just the name folder that has the name of the file, uh, the file path. So basically just choose any path you want. I chose the, the same path for the tutorials and everything that I have. It's, it's on desktop, so you choose that. And if you want to, uh, I always also choose to like um, add the slash. So then I just need to add the name of the um, file later on, you know. So just put your whole, the whole file path for that folder and then also add a slash. So you don't need to add it later on. Okay, so we do that and then, and then the next thing is set pipeline parameter. To list of tagged files. If you're gonna use um, specific uh, files within a tag, then this is very helpful. Otherwise, just put all files in here. You know, so like files, and then put all files instead of older. So put I put it older because we have the older you know added. But for example, if you have like a tag with analyzed data and a tag with not analyzed data, then you choose the analyzed data to export those specific uh, trials that are already analyzed. All right, then use short file names. I, I like to use short file names true instead of like, giving it the whole path. If you don't, if you don't click on this, it will give you the whole path of that, um, of that file name. If you remember when I showed you earlier, it takes like the whole path. We don't, we don't want that. All right. So then we start the for loops. So for loops start with for each. And then end with n for end for each. If you're familiar with MATLAB, um, the MATLAB will be like four and then end. It's the same thing here, like for each and then end for each. All right, so for each, it will ask you here, so loop through the files and exporting the data. What you want to add here is you want to add the, um, so in, in, uh, the iteration parameter name is indexed. You can just name it anything you want. I named it indexed. You can just put A, for example, you know, or B, whatever. And then we're calling dot dot files. The reason why you put, you have to always put uh, a colon and then files and then the name of whatever uh, you're calling. So here we're calling files and files we're calling basically each file within, uh, within that tag, you know. So we're calling the first trial and then the second trial and then the third trial within the tag of order. The older tag. All right, so we have that. So that's what we're gonna be calling. Uh, later on in the next video, we'll talk about for loops and how to use for loops to calculate angular momentum. So instead of like calling the files, you'll call specific outcome measures, specific like parameters uh, that we already like biomechanical biomechanical parameters that we already calculated. All right, so we call files before we start. Exporting the data, we said we also use this uh, out um, this command called set pipeline parameter. So, set pipeline set pipeline parameter creates a pipeline parameter with a specific parameter value. Multiple values may be appended, separated by the um, by the and sign. We'll get to that in a little bit. But basically, we're using this so we can give a new index. By changing the .c3d format to .txt, because so then when we export it, we don't need to add .txt every time, because we're calling the specific names in the workspace. All these names, on the name of the of the files are they end by .c3d. 
So it does help you uh, to just automatically change that later on because when you export, you export uh, the format.txt. Alright, so this is the only reason why we add this uh, to, to help us, you know, save time later on. Also, we do need to um, we do need to replace it because otherwise we will save it at the dot c3d and then dot txt. All right. So then we select active files because we need to, you know, like loop it first of all by activating each file. So we select active file and then we here you need to know that. Um, let me just zoom in. So here. I put the, the, um, the dot sign here, um, if you remember when I showed you so it doesn't call the whole thing, and then add, you always have to add this add, uh, dot dot index, dot dot index is the, uh, is the uh, basically name that we're using to call for, for the for loop. And that calls the files, so dot dot files, and the files here um, are basically calling each file within the tag of folder. Okay, so basically we just activate that file, and then export all the data within that file, and then loop it again, and then add the like call the second file, and so on. All right, so now we we get into the export section so when you export if you remember like you can ex export it easily if you just want to export one by one but if you want to export like large data we have a lot of trials and a lot of participants then this is going to be very helpful so i made these four atcan measures to export and then we'll do like a few ones together so first of all you're exporting all this center pressure data and we do that by going to the um, center of force pressure type so that's why you know the signal type is center of force pressure and the signal folder is original and then within that I basically added all the force plates okay and then when we get to the file name you have to pay attention in here the file name when when you use for loops if you have um, like a name here folder for example uh, which basically we're calling that f the folder path when you have it at the beginning you don't need to add the at but you have to add two columns and then the name so folder and this will basically replace this with the whole um, file path and then when you want to replace when you add want to add to that um, you have to uh, you have to add the add sign so you have to add the add sign after whatever you added first and then add whatever you need to add here I need to change this so I'm gonna like delete this because if you remember you already added uh, so obviously I have to do it this way um, because you already added if you remember the slash so I'm just gonna re remove this if you don't have a, a folder already created and named the same thing, it will give you an error. So, um, so here, when I go here, and if I keep it like this, and I don't add a specific center of pressure um, folder within the data folder, it will not read it. It will just give me an error. So you have to like either add a folder, name center of pressure, or just delete it. I don't care about adding folders. Uh, now because I just, this is just a tutorial, but when you have like large data, I would recommend to add a folder for each outcome measure. All right, so within that, we only need to add the add sign, and then the now we're actually like writing the name of the file that we want to save. So we're just adding center pressure at underscore. So center pressure underscore. The reason why I add center pressure first is because and then underscore because the the add. This, the second add here basically this will be replaced so add center pressure underscore will be replaced by just center pressure underscore to that uh, whole name that we're creating here 
and then because this is at the at the end we only need to add this you know so two columns and then new index if you remember the new index will call the name of that specific um, file but it changed it from .c3d to .txt so here the we changed the .c3d to .txt but all of these files will be like named this so trimmed will be basically like center pressure will be basically like like here will be like the folder so that the whole folder path and then slash and then center pressure under underscore and then will be placed by this so trimmed s11 s1 one tracked dot instead of c3d will be like txt okay so that now i also added like kinetic kinematic uh exporting the center mass same thing but here i also need to remove the this folder that i created and also i'm gonna remove this so position let's remove that Um, same thing here all right so let's create also let's also export the ground reaction forces too so let's come here let's go to the text and let's um, copy all of these and then here we we'll just change this to export all ground reaction force data so we will go here and then we change the signal type from center force pressure to um, force and then keep original and then we'll just keep all the force plates if it's gonna be if it's if it doesn't have any data it will just be empty and then we'll go here and then like change this so we'll keep the folder and then let me zoom in so you can see it's a folder and then we'll change like the center pressure to uh, ground direction force And we keep the underscore, and then this will automatically replace that with the um, the file name as is saved here in Visual 3D. All right, so we have everything ready to be executed. I'm just running a final check to make sure everything is correct. Yep, so this is what I what I mentioned. Data and then slash. Uh, if you if you don't put that slash here, it will give you an error. If you don't also add it here. Otherwise you have to add it here. So like every time you write this folder and then and when you add the and sign you have to also add the slash like here. So you have to do again. <laughs> Then every time you do this, you have to add a slash like this if you don't add it uh, earlier. Okay, so everything seems fine. I'll execute it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to save it. So do you see like there's no errors, and there's no warning. But when you, if you, if you like look at the um, report, then you'll see here. Uh, it also gives you the time you know, of execution. So then it prompts you to folder. It basically creates this. It's, it says, like you see the folder here equals all this path. And then we create the files. So, you know, we have like all the files because we chose the tag of older. And then loop through the files and export the data. This is what I wrote. And then for each. So here, at first, um, it changed like the C3D, the, it first created, like, it first chose the first file and then it changed the name here you see like trim.txt instead of .c3D and then we select the active file, so we select the first active file it's selected and then we start exporting the data, so it exports the data and you see here it basically changed the file path like I, like I mentioned it changed the file path like by the folder path that we first created all the, all the way up to data slash and then we named it center pressure if you remember underscore and then it changed that file name with the trimmed s11s1 uh, one track.txt 
So that I did that for the center pressure and then the center of mass, the ground reaction force, I mean, and then the center of mass position and then the position of the right foot and then the left foot. Then we're done, then we end for each and then we switch to the second file. So here you go, loop through the files that go back to the for each and then it switches uh, it switches to the second trial as you see here, but it's still C3D and then it changes that C3D to TXT So then it's na it names it a TXT And so on so it repeats the same process again and again So now we're exporting the data so it, it switches all of those But then it only changes like now the file name and so on So if you have a lot of data, this is very helpful. So when we go to our Data you see here like it exported um, all the data. So we have the center of mass position for the three files, center pressure position for three files, ground direction forces for the three files, and the left and right feet positions. This is what we did earlier. All right, and that's uh, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm always here to help. Thank you.